back at it again at Dracula's Castle. Right at the beginning. Having to transport all the way back to the outer wall. This feels really familiar for some reason. In fact, I think we're going in a big circle, but this time we gotta go to uh, the new area that the oarsmen will appear at. Hopefully that's what I'm supposed to be doing. At the very least, I think there's a boss fight at the end of that, so I have to do it one way or another. Plus, I do want to hit uh, the top map completion percentage. So what, down from here? Thank God for this elevator. When I use it properly, that is. And once again, who is this thing for? It's so violent. Pretty sure Dracula can't even fit into this thing. His sprite's way bigger than Alucard's. Let's see here. I need to go down a couple. That's the boss room. Here we go. Back through the really long hallway with my 250 bucks in it. Let's go, Alucard. Dash your way through that CD screen. I have the axe too, so... Ah, no, not stone. Stop spitting skulls at me, I think that's what they are. You son of a bitch. Well, you're not dead yet. There we go. There's another one though, isn't there? What an evil bastard. Get out. I missed! How embarrassing. Yeah, the, the, uh, what's it called? The Invisible Cloak? I was checking in. Yeah, it doesn't play too well on video. Oh, you can stand on that thing, huh? Does it hurt you if it's still alive? And find out. No, it doesn't. You just get up in her face, though hitting her doesn't do anything. Hey, big heart. Look how satisfying they are to get in this game compared to old ones, the big hearts. They look like big candies. Alright, this isn't the, the way I want to go, though. That's the room that had items in it. So I want to go... Nope, I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. <laughs> not this way. Fucking... Ooh, your table? Wrecking my shit. Give me that big candy heart. Here we go. Oh, well, I have the book now. Great. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick that up, but I guess we gotta roll with it. Almost back up to my maximum heart count. So this time, just stick to the right. And... Right below me is some sort of save room. Man, I still can't get that. I think it's a save room. Yeah, totally. So let's save here. Now we're gonna make this big long drop. If I was a real shitbag, and I am, but... Not, not enough to do what I'm thinking of doing. Like, you could save scum it to where, uh, making this drop. Like, I think there are things you can miss along the way. No. There was a path up top. You see that, yeah, there is an opening there. I'm pretty sure I need to either have the double jump or the ability to fly in order to get that. So, we're gonna have to come back. Yeah, this is where I want to be. Yeah, I remember this location. This is going to take me to a completely different zone, I think. Forgot about this area of the castle. This is one of the more well-hidden areas. I'll guide you to meet your destiny. He's the only well-cast voice actor in this game. That's always how I imagine the guy from uh, Simon's Quest sounded. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was dangerous. These fucking bats are in the way. No. Uh. Uh. No. This isn't good. I got greedy. I got really greedy. Survive, Alucard. 
You can do it. It's just a little bit of water. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. All of this for what I think was a sellable. Oh, I want to get that potion or whatever. An elixir. Whew. Exactly as I drew it up. Okay, standing in that big puddle is what does damage. Is oh, this is the thing. This is the uh, the holy symbol. What? Oh, that's right. They gave this thing a stupid ass name. The where is it? the holy symbol? It's a fucking snorkel. Get out of here. Protection while underwater. Holy symbol. This dollar store snorkel. Yeah, but I, now I need to get back over here while surviving. Oh, right, but we just ignore him now and start hitting up the bottom areas. Which I was already kind of doing by accident, but whatever. Also, moving in water is slow. It's actually like moving in water. Are there any, uh... Man, I need to go backwards and fill out this little chunk of the map. That's super annoying, but it's a thing you gotta do from time to time. There you go. The map is unfortunately really finicky in this game sometimes. Or you gotta like stand at just the right little spot and get like the right pixels into the right place and then it'll fill out the map. It's very specific. And uh, the underwater caverns are notorious for that. This is where the, uh, the super jump ability comes in handy. Uh, in some areas, maybe over to the far uh, side, the opposite side, we went, yay, this is really helpful. Um, the super jump will help you get up into like little areas and fill out some uh, map completion percentage. What's over here? This is the knuckle duster. Is that a punch weapon? Yep. It's not even as strong as my sword. All right, so we completely filled out this little area. But there's still the matter of the fact that um, there are now places we can get into that were on this original route that I couldn't before because I can now swim. Where's the save room? It's right above me. Also, don't need hearts. Right, I have tried to talk about this like four or five times now and I always get interrupted. But in future uh, Ega games, they figured out a much better process for, uh, like, collecting hearts. In fact, uh, eventually, like, the system we have here of having magic and hearts goes away. And eventually it gets to the point where, uh, hearts just fill up your magic meter, I think? And anyway, when you have full magic, though, and you don't need hearts, then every candle will just drop money for you. At least a dollar, sometimes, you know, five or ten or whatever. That way you can't, you don't run into the problems of like, uh, getting hearts that you don't need. But not this game, unfortunately. Alright, let's go down here. I like this idea, fish head. It's like, a, it's like the regular bone tower guys, but they're fish. Ow! Will the book protect me from the projectile? Yeah, it does. Nice. But it can still get in if it's lucky. Oh, come on! It's so annoying, too, because you're so slow underwater. There we go. I don't even know what this is. Nunchaku. It's obviously a weapon. They're nunchucks, or... They look like tonfas. Oh yeah, look at me! Just like my avatar! I'm Lloyd Bannings now. Don't need that shit though. We're back to being weebs with our cutlass. No, the cutlass isn't Japanese, it's like European though. Get out of here. That's all that's down here, huh? Well, there's still areas to the far left I haven't done. 
but nice that I got the nunchaku. There are all sorts of weapons in Egovania games, and I'm very unimaginative in that I always pick the most basic ones. In uh, Aria of Sorrow, they put guns in there. You can get like little pistols. They suck though. They're really not that good. It's not as glamorous as it sounds like, oh, you can use a gun in Castlevania? It fucking sucks. It's basically like the like using the knife weapon. Except it's infinite. You don't need to consume hearts, but it does piddly shit damage. Come on. Motherfucker. God, this is so annoying. There we go. It's one of them. Oh, I can just stand over here and get you. Fuck you. Give me that heart. Now there's still a little little bottom area down here. I did a crit. I think that's the first crit I've gotten on camera. God damn it. Fuck I hate these guys. Come on. There we go. Now I just need to get behind them. What is that? Seeing this? What is it? Anti-venom. Okay. Security item. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, I need to heal. Luckily, I picked up another potion, right? Oh, I just realized I don't have my fucking shield on thanks to the nunchaku. What's the elixir do? All HP. Okay, so it's a super potion. Didn't I get an extra potion? Or did, like, oh yeah. Because I ran out, it cycled back to the bottom. So, equip my, my night shield now. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, sweet. Got myself a life max. Okay. Back into the waterfall cavern. Once I get, uh, once I fall down in there, I won't be able to get back up again. Cause I still don't have an ability to fly. Take this, frogs and toad. How do I get in there? What am I missing here? Let me go backwards a little bit. Oh, you go up from there, okay. Yeah, there's a path through there. I don't know how you get in there though. Hmm. I don't remember at all how you get in there. Was it something on the previous screen that I missed, was it? If I had like a, a cheat map in front of me, I could figure it out. Can I actually get this now? I think I can, yeah, pentagram. What does that do? I think it's like a... Is it a consumable attack? Or is it a thing you wear? No. What is this? Damages all enemies use. Alright. So I guess we want to stick to the right side now. I still can't get over to whatever is across from here. Ah, I missed it. Well, this was a big waste of time. Let's see, there's not a secret beyond here, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Once I have the ability to, uh, to fly around, I'll be able to better explore this area and maybe learn how to get that heart max and life max. For now, let's go into the room where we first met the oarsman. You're no threat to me anymore, water. They are not that strong, are they? They just go down very easily. He's like, I'm going even if you don't want me to. I get that $250. All right, I need to chill out in here. 
Make sure I get these map spaces. Maybe there's something down here I don't know about. Well, I missed a spot up there. Crap, I think the only way to do this is to straight up back out. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't know that thing was going to move even if I didn't, uh, even if I wasn't with the oarsman. Well, this helps. This will take me up. But I can't make the jump. And I think it was going to take me over in that direction anyway. That was stupid of me. So I step on this, and that lowers it on the other side. I think that candle that's up there in the middle of the room is like a $500 point bag. Let's see, what's down here? Oh, it's totally a thing. There's a killer fish! It's coming straight for me. Wow, he's no joke. <laughs> he's, he's like, I don't care. I don't believe in the Lord. Just throw this Bible at me. Holy shit, he's strong. Are you hiding something? No? It's just you? It's just where he lives. Stepped into his house and I fucked him up real good. Oh, come on, Alucard. <laughs> this is really awkward. I think I can do it. I think I can jump back on. Oh, come on. Tell me this is this has to be possible. There's like a little ledge you can stand on right about here. Oh. Come on, man. Maybe if I book it. Like ah. Yeah, I forced it. I had a mass jump upon landing here. And all this, yeah, it's the stuff I already got. Okay. Oh, I somehow cleared out that little space that I missed down here. Well, damn. I need to go back into the start of the castle again. Oh, he's not going to take me unless I leave this screen. You son of a bitch. Let's go. He doesn't talk anymore. Now he's a silent man. They should have wrote, like, unique lines for him. Like, have little quibs for every time you see him. I will take that $50, Bat. Yeah, I have no choice but to go through the center of the castle. It also kind of looks like that, uh... No, it probably doesn't, but, um, in that waterfall room where I missed the uh, top left area, it looks like it connects to that area over at the start of the castle where the save room and transportation is. But I think there's a wall in between them, so it doesn't actually. I want to say that there's complete separate deals. So we did all of that. We didn't fight a boss, though. I thought there'd for sure be a boss. I guess the area I'm thinking of might be past that, uh, that super long area. There's something I'm missing, I think. I want to say there's like a secret area somewhere at the bottom of the castle that we're missing. I don't quite remember how to get to it. I'm not sure if it involves uh, that one uh, open door that's in the big fall shaft that I can't get to because I don't have the double jump or the fly. It's possible. But I know that there's like a really crazy secret area somewhere. Once we get to that like that point where it's like, okay, I know there are areas I haven't been to that I know exist, and there's like nowhere else to go, that's when I'll start kind of cheating it out a little bit. And I'll start uh, looking at like a, an online map and figure out like where the secret path is. I, mean, I don't even need to like look at a video or anything or like a, a text explanation. To show me where the like door is, and I'll figure it out. But where do we want to go now? I say we hit up the top right. It's the most logical place. Plus, it's already on the map. So they kind of want you to do that regardless. That's the way I see it. It's like, you're, uh, you're best off 
uh, going to the areas that they'll tell you about up front. They're like, okay, this is a place you should go. And then worrying about uh, any secret ways. Let's see, this is, yeah, this is where I want to be. So we're going up. This will eventually connect to the castle keep where we were before. You are not a threat to me. Look at you, you're dead. See, that guy's the same as uh, the one from Rondo. He even has the same death animation where his like, sword cleaves in two. Nope. Eh. Get up there, Alucard. But first, I want to save. It's been a little while. It's been, you know, 20 minutes or whatever. Plus, this next area is a little tricky. There are a couple big enemies in it. That's why I kind of avoided it up until now. Damn it. I also don't remember what it's called, or if it just technically ties in with Castle Keep, or if it's a different area. It's a different area. It's called Clock Tower. I knew that's what was over here. I just didn't know if it was properly called that. Well, this guy's a problem. Skull Lord. Alright, so the uh, levels I've gotten plus this weapon make them not too big of a deal. I don't think I can actually progress from down here, but I want to scope out what's over here first. Yeah. So that's the dead end. We got the bottom part of this room. Oh, those guys are in a rondo as well. Oh, they respawn in the same area? That's so lame. That shouldn't be a thing. You should only respawn if I, like, completely walk off to a different screen. Or, oh no, maybe he didn't. He might have uh, floated down from the top. You know, now that I think about this, this is totally uh, the start of the uh, area in Rondo of Blood, as well as crap. <laughs> and given that it is that area, I should have known that's what was going to happen. But essentially, it's the uh, the start of the final stage in Castlevania 1. It's the start of the true shaft stage in uh, Rondo. I can't make this jump, can I? How am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to have the double jump already? Did I miss it? I can do that though. Haha! -ha. Damn it. I also just missed a thing. Getting the floors to fall isn't so bad because they stay permanently down. They let you know where you have to jump. I don't know if I can cross this as the doggo. I just know that I can jump a little bit further as him. So it's worth trying. Critical. Get out of here. Uh, I think there's a thing below me though. It's a magic missile. Oh, I can totally make this jump with the dog, can I? Oh, but I can't get up there. This is the pentagram. This might be as far as I can go. I totally forgot what the rules of exploring this place were. Well, then we might have to actually go back to the castle heap and work our way backwards through here. I completely forgot you can't get through this way without the double jump. Crap. Bye. Ah, come on, doggo. His momentum gets stopped if you run into anything. It's also training my magic. Alucard has been spotted in the outer wall, moonwalking from area to area. Let's see. Where's our checkpoint? Was it? Blow me, good. Oh. 
Well, it's a good thing I made it all the way over to uh, this spot in the Castle Keep. It's going to make my life a lot easier. But given that we know the layout of the castle decently, the Castle Keep is actually like the end of the castle. That's where uh, we last fought Dracula. That's where Richter fought him, though the castle has apparently changed a little bit. I mean, we know that obviously, but uh, that's what Alucard told Maria, which explains the whole like change in the castle. It doesn't look the way I remember it. It suddenly kind of looks like a Metroid game. Let's see. Do I even want to... No, I do not want to bother with the stuff to the left. What the hell is this? This is the tire thing? Trifing? I don't know. What does this do? It's a cursed dark sword with zero attack. It There's a catch to it. It's I can't remember what the fuck it is either. But I know you can grow it to become stronger, I think. It's not worth it. There's another sword like that too. The I think the Moromasa, which grows stronger with uh, enemies you kill that bleed. So you can like really make it absurdly strong if you want to be a bitch. Oh, well, I can't get up from here. Is there a way up? This better be possible. I guess we hang out over here for now. Otherwise, I'm going to be hitting a wall and I'm going to be like, fuck, I need like the double jump or something. And that's going to require me to like find it. <laughs> I have to actually like stop recording and figure out a plan of attack. Because up till now, I've just kind of been shooting in the dark. It's one of the things people like about Symphony, though. About this genre. Or I could just find it right now. <laughs> that simplifies things. Like, 20 feet from it. Where's the double jump? This makes my life so much easier. Oh, fucking Flea Riders. How dare you hit me? Oh, I have to actually go back, too. I wasn't supposed to fall back onto this roof. So much simpler. Can I actually get up this way, though? I can't. <laughs> it's just... Oh, that's dumb. That means I have to actually go back to the where we were with the floating skulls and whatnot. All the way over by the outer wall. Shit, I wouldn't have left here earlier when we first came here, and I'd known it was, like, right there. Would have made my life a lot easier going down into, uh, the lower parts of the castle as well. Well, damn. I think I could maybe make it into, uh, let's see. I might be able to make it into that room over in the falling shaft, but it's a little tricky. I'd rather try that with a bad ability. Hmm. Are there any other locations we can go? Oh, we can go into the areas, at least one of the rooms that are in the long library that I couldn't reach before. But for now, I think I'm going to go into uh, uh, the clock tower. Now that we can actually traverse that area with the, the double jump. I totally went out the wrong way like an idiot. I don't know why. I keep forgetting that it doesn't take you where you want to go most of the time. They fixed that in future Castlevania games, I'm pretty sure. And like the future Egovanias, it's a proper fast travel. Or like when you walk up to the equivalent of whatever the heck this is. It's like, okay, now like move your dot around the map and then you can go to the one you want. It's better than nothing though. Like, imagine if this game didn't have that. If it was just like, nah, walk there, bitch. Here we go. Y'all got nothing on me now. Can't stop me from double jumping onto your exclusive little platforms. Oh, the thing came back. The floor. Oh, I want that money. I 
Ha ha! Take that, flail guard. Crap. <laughs> That's okay. Actually, I should ignore him. Wait, is there anywhere else I can get up to from this uh, location that I have this? No. Damn it. Get out of here, you bitch. Okay, so this area right there where that flail guard is is a lot lower. So I think you have to jump from on top of that thing and do a really far jump. Alright, now that the floors are actually destroyed, this will be a little bit easier. Try this again. It helps knowing like where it is you have to go. Ooh, that was close. Alright, try this again. Oh, well, I made it to where he is. Get out of here, Skull Lord. Did I make this? I got hit on the ceiling, but there we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> what a roast. They're like, haha. Wasn't this annoying? Ah, this is the clock tower. This is like the proper ass clock tower that was in a uh, Rondo where we saved a net and we got Medusa's even. All right. So when we pick up next time, we'll continue exploring the clock tower. See you guys in the next one.